हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू शिक्षा थ्री सिक्सटी एंड बेसिकली फॉर ऑल अपडेट यू कैन ज्वाइन अवर टेलीग्राम ग्रुप यू कैन ऑल्सो सब्सक्राइब अवर यूट्यूब चैनल एंड लिंक ऑफ द टेलीग्राम ग्रुप इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो एंड वी विल प्रोवाइड ए बी एम बी एफ एम एंड रिटेल ऑल सेशन क्लियर एंड लेट स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन बेसिकली many students are sending me one image basically that is one case study and in that case study they have written that this is previous year case study clear so basically many students are facing issue while solving that case study so i will provide you the solution clear i will provide you the solution basically that case study is very basic and that case study is basically based on the probability clear basically based on the probability so let's discuss basically what is that case study so basically there is one case study and basically they have written in basically this case study is asked in the last time cab exams clear i don't know basically when they will ask but let's discuss that case study clear very easy straight forward question basically what it says that one by one we will discuss all the four questions clear first question says that basically a bag contains clear a bag contains basically seven yellow balls and five red balls clear so basically it in, in a bag we can say that we have seven yellow balls and five red balls clear and one ball is taken out from the bag clear total here at 12 balls and one ball is taken out of the bag clear so now basically when one ball is taken out of the bag so how many left in the bag there is 11 clear and that is not replaced clear that is not replaced clear similarly basically when we pick up one ball basically one ball we will pick up out of the 12 balls and a second ball will be pick up second ball we can say the first ball is x second ball is to be y and basically at that time basically how many balls in the bag basically we have already pick out one ball so basically how many balls are left in the bag that is 11 balls are left in the bag clear 11 balls are left in the bag clear so this is basically the whole case clear this is basically the whole case basically initially it is 12 balls when one ball is taken out from the bag so 11 balls are left in the bag clear that case study total case study is basically based on that clear so now let's discuss first question what they says in the first question basically first question they will say that what is probability that both the balls are red clear what is the probability that both the balls are red so what is the probability first ball when the first ball is to be red clear basically how many red balls five red balls and total 12 balls so when we will take a first ball and that is basically both the balls are to be red no first ball is to be red 5 upon 12 clear 5 upon 12 clear and basically when they will pick up second ball second ball is also to be red clear so basically how many initially five balls when we will pick one ball how many left four balls and out of the total when we pick one two, 11 balls are left so 4 into 11 clear so this is the probability so this comes out to be 20 upon 132 to 20 upon 132 clear what is the probability that both balls are red clear 5 upon 12 into 4 upon 11 clear 20 upon 132 clear so this is the answer so option number b is the answer clear next question question number 2 what is the probability that both the balls are of the same color clear both the balls are of the same color clear so either both the balls are to be red clear either both the balls are to be red or both the balls are to be yellow clear either both the balls are to be red or both the balls are to be yellow clear so how ki we can solve or what is the probability so when the both the balls are to be red 5 upon 12 into 4 upon 11 which we have already discussed now now there is one another case clear when there is another case we have to put the sign of plus clear basically when we are considering under the same case we will use a multiple sign and when we cover that case clear and when we cover that case we will use the multiple sign clear here we will cover the case both balls are to be taken out next one this is both are red now both are to be yellow clear 7 upon 12 into 6 upon 11 So this comes out to be twenty upon one thirty two plus forty two upon one thirty two. So this comes out to be sixty two upon one thirty two. Clear? I think I am correct here. Sixty two upon one 
32. So what is the correct answer? Both the balls are to be same color clear. So either they are to be red or either they are to be yellow. Clear. So 20 upon 132 plus 42 upon 132. Clear. So this comes out to be 62 upon 132. Clear. So here our answer is to be. Here our answer is to be basically they have given option number this one. Clear. Option number third is our answer 62 upon 132 is our answer. Clear. 62 upon 132 is our answer. Okay. Now we will move towards the next question. Question number third. What is the probability that both the balls are of different color? Clear. What is the probability that both the balls are of a different color? So basically when both the balls are of different color. So first one is red. Second one is yellow. Clear. This is one case. Other case. First one is yellow. Second one is red. Clear. So basically there are two cases, both of the balls are to be different, but first ball here is to be red, second ball here is to be yellow. And here first ball is to be yellow, second ball here is to be red. So basically when first ball is red, 5 upon 12. And when basically first second ball is to be yellow, 7 upon 11. Similarly, when first ball is yellow, 7 upon 12. Second ball is red, 5 upon 12. Because first ball is taken out to be red. So 7 balls are already left in the back. And that are also of yellow color clear. So 7 upon 11 clear. So this comes out to be 35 upon 132 plus 35 upon 132. So this comes out to be basically 70 upon 132 clear. This comes out to be 70 upon 132 close. This is our answer clear. This is our answer. Hope all these questions are clear to all of you clear. Even if you are facing any doubt in these questions, you can comment in the comment section. We'll help you how to solve this question clear will help you basically how to solve these questions here. Here basically you have not to, to take any other thing clear. Basically these are directly straightforward questions clear. These are very straightforward questions clear. Now we'll move forward to the next question. And if you like this video, please press the like button. And now what is the last question? Question number four. What is the probability of at least one ball is yellow clear? At least one ball is yellow clear. So first with either first yellow and Second one is red. This is one the case. Clear at least one. Either one is yellow or both the yellow. Clear. Second one is first one is yellow. Second one is also yellow. And here one case more arises. Here first one is yellow. Second one is red. Clear. Second one more case. First one is red. Second one is yellow. This one is also more case. Clear. So here three cases arise. So basically when first one is yellow, seven upon 12. Second one is red, five upon 11. Plus first one is yellow, seven upon 12. Second one is yellow, 6 upon 11. Why I not take Y2, Y1? Clear, first one is yellow, second one. This is basically the both same case, clear. This is same case, clear. Plus first one is red, second one is yellow. Clear, so this comes out to be 35 upon 132 plus 42 upon 132 plus 35 upon 132. 70 plus 42 upon 132. This comes out to be, I think, 112 upon 132. So this one is the answer. 112 upon 132. This is the answer. Clear? Hope these four questions are clear to all of you. Clear? I expect these all the four questions are clear to all of you. Even if you are facing any doubt and issue in this question, you can comment in the comment section. I will guide you further. Clear? Now one more question where students are facing, facing issue. This is the question clear. Basically what the question says that basically Mahak made an investment clear. <coughs> Mahak made an investment of rupees 18,000 clear. Mahak made an investment of basically rupees 18,000 and he expects a return of rupees 3,000 per annum clear and he expects a return of rupees 3,000 per annum basically for 12 years clear for 12 years. So what is the present value and net present value of the cash flow at 10% discount rate clear. So now what is the present value of the and net present value of the cash flow clear. So basically this is the basic question and we will solve this basically with respect to the annuity formula clear. A upon R annual return plus 1 plus R power N minus 1 upon 1 plus R power N. So here A is to be 3000 clear that is 
annually they will receive 3000 rupees r is equal to they have already given 10% so 10 upon 100 it is to be 0.1 and they have given already 12 years so when we are solved present value 3000 upon 0.1 1 plus 0.1 power 12 minus 1 upon 1 plus 0.1 power 12 so this comes out to when we solve to 20,441. Clear? So this is the present value from that formula. Clear? And now they are asking basically what is the net present value? Net present value basically what we will get here. Net present value. Net present value basically they will in the numerical also basically they will able to answer basically what is the net present value? Basically what present value we will get here minus investment clear investment is 18000 so the present value here is to be net present value rupees 2441 rupees clear so this is the net present value clear this is the net present value basically which they will ask in the question clear basically this is the net present value which they will ask in the question clear hope this question is clear to all of you clear hope this question is clear to all of you and i request to all of you if you are facing any issue in any question then you can forward that question to our telegram portal i will provide you the solution in this way clear or if the question is we will provide you the solution in the group but i request all of you should do practice do hard work and try to clear the exam in the first attempt clear so thanks to all of you for watching this video and please share this video with your friends also if you like the video so thanks to all of you for attending this short session